hey guys uh, so welcome to my channel once again and uh, in this session what I'm gonna do is I'm going to work more on the command line index uh, it's because uh, in the forthcoming videos we will not be working on the you know uh, configuration uh, check boxes dialog boxes and all instead of that uh, we will be using command line index more so I want you guys to be uh, more comfortable with uh, you know using that uh, command line index so for that uh, I'll be doing the same process again and again in this video also uh, so let me go and you know illustrate uh, how to implement that uh, command line index with some you know uh, some complicated uh, network uh, so this is the one which we have seen in the previous video so that is we implemented two LAN networks and we have tried to you know configure this router using the command line index so in this video I'm gonna do the same uh, but uh, I'm going to implement it in some other network so let me go and uh, design a new network uh, just uh, just I need to save that file okay well, it is saved I think right. uh, oopsie it is not responding we'll wait okay so i've got the uh, new page so let me go and configure it for quick uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take one router uh let me pick one router here and uh, one more router and one more router and one more router okay so i'm having a four routers and i'm going to configure the uh, you know uh, routing protocols for these four uh, routers and uh, when it comes to the you know LAN connections I'm going to make one uh, uh, LAN here say one LAN with one device say I'm having one LAN with one device and similarly I'm going to have uh, another uh, say uh, one LAN with one device say I'm having one laptop over here and similarly I'm having one another LAN over here which is having some you know I've given some device over here and one PC okay so I have uh, you know uh, dragged and dropped every devices which I want to connect to my network so I have to make a connection between these guys so let me go and do it okay so router to router communication as you can see how it will be so let me do it quickly see the uh, you know connection between each and every router and uh, he see I'm connecting every network over here okay and uh, let me assign uh, these IP address for these guys so this will be 10.0.0.1 uh, .0 and uh, coming to this laptop then that will be 20.0.0.1 I'm sorry 0.0.1 .0 and uh, this PC is gonna have 30.0.0.1 and uh, uh, the default gateway for this guy is 30.0.0.10 and for this guy the default gateway will be 20.0.0.10 and for this guy it will be 10.0.0.10 right so default gateway is nothing but the nearest router's IP address right so let me go and assign the IP address for these guys quickly. So go to PC0. Uh, in PC0, go to desktop IP config, type the 10.0.0.1 with the subnet mask and the default gateway for these guys 10.0.0.0.10, right? And just close this window and open the laptop. Go to desktop IP config. And in the IP config, just go ahead and type 20.0.0.1 and with subnet mask and give the default gateway as 20.0.0.10 and just close it and open this PC. Go to desktop IP config. So in this IP uh, v4, just type as 30.0.0.1 with the subnet mask and the default gateway as 30.0.0.10, right? So I have assigned the IP address for these guys. So as you can see, the link is up. So the link is up. The link is up. 
so till this point we have done everything so we are going to implement the routing protocols and we have to assign the default gateway right so let me go and do it by, by starting from the router zero i have to go to the command line index so is, it is asking for you know continue with the configuration dialog press no and start up with that press enable that is en you know uh, guys try to work more on the command line index as i said previously so i'll be working on command line index just you know try to grab what are all the commands which i'm typing here so as you can see uh i uh, have enabled the router and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna enter the configuration terminal which is conf t and what i have to do is i have to assign the router's ip address which is interface fast ethernet zero by zero right so first ethernet 0 by 0 i have to assign the ip address which is ip address ip address 10.0.0.10 with a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0 and press enter as you can see the ip address is successfully configured what i'm going to do is i have to enable the port status as on so for that i'm going to type as no shut that is no shutdown so as you can see the link here is upright so i have successfully configured the router's ip address and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to you know uh configure this this guy so before configuring this one i have to assign some ip address right so let me go and do it so 70.0.0.1 and uh, for this end that is 70.0.0.2 and for this end that is 80.0.0.1 and for this end it will be 80.0.0.2 and for this guy that is 90.0.0.1 and for this end that is 90.0.0.2 okay so as i told you guys previously so whatever the ip address has given here that next ip address should be the consecutive number so just try to maintain it as much as possible and you can choose any ip address over there so let me go and configure it in that router so in that i have to go to the interface where uh, in that i have to go to the interface serial 2 by 0 right C serial 2 by 0 and press enter so as you can see i am in the configuration window and in that i have to assign the ip address which is ip address 70.0.0.1 with the subnet mask of 255.0.0.0 and press enter so ip address is successfully configured and we have to give no shutdown guys try to remember that we have to give it and exit from that point okay so i have successfully configured the router zero and what i have to do is i have to go to the uh, this guy and what i have to do is i have to uh, before that i have to add the routing protocol here right so for that what i have to do is i have to give router rip press enter and in that network type the path the first path will be 10.0.0.10 .10, right so 10.0.0.10 and press enter and the another network will be uh 70.0.0.1 right so press enter so as you have successfully configured the router rip so just press exit and come out of it so we have successfully implemented the routing protocol and we have successfully configured the ip address over this router so just move to the router one and do the same process type no and you know press enable type enable and go to the config terminal okay so in this what i have to do i have to configure serial 2 by 0 and serial 3 by 0 so let me go to the uh int serial 2 by 0 and assign the ip address as uh, 70.0.0.2 with a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0 and we have to give no shutdown as you can see when i said no shutdown the link is up right guys so remember to give no shutdown and try to exit from that after that you need to go to int uh serial 3 by 0 right for this one so serial uh, 3 by 0 and type try to type the IP address that is 80.0.0.1 with the subnet mask of uh, 255.0.0.0 and type enter and give the no shutdown okay so similarly you have to do everything uh, for your each and every router and successfully I have configured for uh, SE 3 by 0 so the remaining thing is 
have to give the RIP protocol. So on the router RIP give the network paths. So on a first path is 70.0.0.2 and network uh, network uh, 80.0.0. I'm sorry, one. So 80.0.0.1 press enter and get exit. So I have successfully configured the IP address of this router and also I have successfully implemented the routing protocol for this router. Let me go to this router and go to this command line index. Just go to type enable and conf t that is configuration terminal. So in that I have to go to where? So in that I have to go to SC2 by 0 right? So SC two by zero and type the IP address which is 80.0.0.2 with a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0 and press enter and give no shutdown okay so try to exit from that and go to in serial 3 by 0 and try to type the IP address which is of uh, you know 90.0.0. I'm sorry uh, that's my mistake ip address 90.0.0.1 with the subnet mask of 255.0.0.0 and try to type of 9 no shutdown right so try to exit from there and still we have our router rip over this router and try to type the network uh, network 80.0.0.2 and we have one more network which is uh, of uh, you know 90.0.0.1 and try to exit from that router rip so we have successfully configured the router rip and ip address for this guy but still we have one more left that is fa0 by 0 right so i forgot that one so we have to go in tfa0 by 0 and for that i need to assign the ip address as uh, uh, like you know 20.0.0.10 with a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0 and press enter and you have to give no shutdown okay guys remember to give no shutdown every time okay so exit from that so as you can see the link is getting up so in the meantime i'm going to configure this guy also so co for configuring this guy i need to go to command line index type no and enable conf t and after entering the config t i need to configure the uh, serial interface which is SC uh, 2 by 0 right so 2 by 0 IP address which is of you know, 90.0.0.2 with a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0 so uh, somewhere sorry that is of ADD RESS right so IP address is assigned and I have to give no shutdown uh, no shut okay so no shutdown the link is up and i have to exit it and i have to move to fa 0 by 0 and i have to assign ip address uh i'm sorry that is of ip address uh that is of 30.0.0.10 and with ip address of 245.0.0.0 right so IP address is assigned and give no shutdown and try to uh, wait a minute okay the link is up and try to exit from there and what you need to do is you need to assign the router RIP and type router RIP and then network uh, type the network which is uh, you know uh, associated uh, associated with that router that is of 90.0.0.2 and type the another path which is of uh, 30.0.0.10 and press enter so we have successfully configured the routing product protocol for this router also so we have successfully configured every router with the rip as well as their ip address so let me try to ping that uh, this system let me try to ping this system from pc0 so let me go to command prompt and type ping uh, 30.0.0.1 and press enter so we'll just wait for a few seconds oops yeah i'm getting a beautiful reply reply from that guy so as you can see sent is four and received is three so i have successfully implemented a complex network which is of you know consisting four routers 
so uh, every router is configured with their own uh, routing protocol and their own ip address so in this way we can be able to work more on the command line index guys so please try to work more on this uh, command line uh, uh, index and we will try to move on more further in the coming videos so hope you guys liked it and please do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for further videos thank you